My sincere greetings to all the viewers. Myself, Navleen Kaur. I am working as PhD scholar in Gurunanak Dev University, Amritsar. Today, I shall present the poster which highlights the impact of cationic head group in cytotoxicity of ionic liquids, probing changes in bilayer architecture using fluorescence and solid state NMR spectroscopy. To begin, I shall introduce ionic liquids, which are organic salts with melting point generally below 100 degrees Celsius, which are formed using combinations of large variety of cations and anions with varying head groups and the alkyl chain lengths. Uh, due to these vast designs, they find applications in large number of fields of research and uh, this makes it quite important that we understand the toxic behavior of ionic liquids towards the environment. These are some of the literature reports which have already shown that ionic liquids are quite toxic in nature and their green nature is under question which they were once considered to be. Uh, these are some of the techniques which can be used to study that cytotoxic effect and uh, both in vivo and in vitro studies have been performed with the ionic liquids. <clears throat> Cell membranes are the first target of ionic liquids which are composed of the phospholipids and phospholipid that we are using in our work is the zwitterionic uh, POPC. The phospholipid. These phospholipids in the aqueous medium form vesicular structure and this vesicle should uh, mimic the uh, uh, cell membrane of the cell. And the Bartlett assay, which is a UV visible spectrometric based method, is used to determine the number of phospholipids in this vesicle structure. Our objective is to uh, synthesize uh, these ionic liquids with different cationic head groups, but the same alkyl chain length and bromide ions, so that we can study the effect of these cationic head groups on their cytotoxicity towards the HeLa cell lines. And this is further correlated with their disrupting behavior towards the more model POPC lipid membrane vesicles uh, using the fluorescence spectroscopy. Uh, this is a um, schematic representation in which the calcium dye is encapsulated within the POPC vesicles and the ionic liquid when it uh, penetrates into these vesicles the dye is leaked out which leads to the enhanced fluorescence. And also the binding can be determined using the zeta potential measurements or the ITC measurements. This is the solution state NMR of all the ionic liquids which we have used and uh, this was used to characterize the ionic liquids and to see their purity. MTT assay which is a colorimetric method to determine the number of viable cells when the ionic liquids are added to HeLa cells. It was found that the benzimidazolium was the most toxic and the morpholinium was the least toxic um, among all the ionic liquids. Imidazolium, pyrrolidinium, pipridinium and the ammonium ionic liquids were in between the two. Also it was observed from the dye leakage assay from this scheme which we used and uh, again they gave the same results. Zeta potential measurements where we determined the potential around the vesicles also stated that benzimidazolium is most disrupting and the motlinium to be the least one. DLS measurements, however, showed that the, the ionic liquids were disrupting the in, uh, vesicles, but the overall integrity was intact and the, the no new structure was observed in the, the DLS measurements. Finally, the solid state NMR to see the location of these ionic liquids within the lipid bilayer. The cross relaxation rates were determined using the 1H1 and NUSI NMR spectra, where it was found that the cationic head group of ionic liquids stayed on, uh, on the the lipid water interface and the alkyl chain, the hydrophobic dodecyl chain is buried into the hydrophobic region of the vesicles. 31P NMR. Uh, was uh, determ uh, was uh, performed so as to see the effect of these ionic liquids on the head group of these vesicles and the 2H NMR where the deuterated chains of these lipids were used to see whether the order of these chains was uh, affected by the addition of the ionic liquids. And these are the parameters which we obtained which showed that the chemical shift anisotropy from the 31P NMR uh, stated that the head group was affected uh, the most in the case of benzimidazolium 
imidazolium and ammonium ionic liquids and the order chain parameter which was affected in all the cases but was maximum for the benzimidazolium and the piperidinium ionic liquids so it can be concluded that the cationic head group of the ionic liquids uh, to dictate the toxic behavior of these ionic liquids towards the hela cells or the lipid bilayer which we have studied and the number of oxygen atoms or the nitrogen atoms that we can see the size of the cations all decide their toxicity uh, so finally i would like to acknowledge dr venus singh mittu for all his support and guidance uh, my lab mates uh, sandeep gorav and harpreet uh, CSIR and UGC for their fellowship, DBT for uh, DBT for uh, the funding, and Guru Nanak Dev University for infrastructure. And this is my publication. And thank you all for your uh, patience. Thank you.